Thank you for joining us at Beads to Live By for another tutorial. For more information, you can always visit our website, beadstoliveby.com. Threading your needle. I always, in my classes, have a lot of students who have questions about threading their beading needles because we work with size 12s and they tend to be really difficult to thread because we also work with 10 pound wildfire thread. As you can see, I was clearing out the eye of my needle and flattening the end of my thread. Now, I always do actually thread and flatten it even more with my teeth. If you take your thread, you want to pull it down between your fingers so that you can barely see the end. See that little black dot? Then you're going to take your needle and you have to position it so you can see the eye of it, or at least know that your eye is facing your fingers and the thread. And then you are going to slowly lower that needle over that little tip of the thread that's showing. And then once you have, you know, quarter of an inch or more, then you can grab that piece and stabilize the end of your needle with your fingernail as you pull. Don't hold your needle back here and pull. If you're using a size 12 or something that is similar thickness because you will you'll break your needle if you pull from here. So always hold your needle up by the eye near the thread when you're pulling the thread through. The eye, go ahead and slide it down to the desired doubled length. That is how you thread a very small needle with some very thick thread. For other tips, projects, and written tutorials, you can visit our website at beadstoliveby.com. Thank you for joining us.